Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second video of this course. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel because that will make these videos possible. On this video, we are going to learn which information is required on an HVAC project based on our example. The first thing you have to request are the drawings. The drawings will give us an overall idea of the project in terms of, uh, of structure, spaces, size, details, even the government regulation, because normally these the drawing, uh, drawings have uh, general notes that will give uh, what we can do, what we cannot do uh, on, the, on that uh, project. The, the drawings could be in a PDF format, could be in a, in a AutoCAD format, could be even an image or a printed document. But the most important thing is to have it. I'm going to show you an example of this drawing. So this is the first view that uh, we receive, for example. And this is the three-dimensional view. As you can see, that will give us an important idea of, of, uh, of the project. And the second view we got is a plan view. This is a really important view because that will give us an idea the, about the distribution in, on the in the structure. So after after checking these um, drawings, realize that the the project will take place in a guard house. So with this information, we can start filling the 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 form we have here in Excel. I designed this uh, this form based on our example. So if you have maybe another thing that you, you want to add or you think is really important, feel free to do it. I will leave this, um, this form on, on, the description, on the description so you can download. So the first thing we have to fill in, in, the, in the form is um, the uh, description of the project, what we're going to do. So we already know that we are going to design a, a air conditioning system for a car house. So what we're going to do is the project is, is design in air conditioning in AC and let's check let's take a look again to the structure to see what we have inside of the, the structure. So we see that we have basically three main spaces. So the, we have the first one is the reception. Is basically well, well, people will be checked before go, getting to the company. So um, we also have the like a office offices space, and we also have like a kitchen space over here. We have the restrooms. So with this. Now we we are getting the general idea of what we need. So we will need an air conditioning system for this area, for this area, for this area. And if we have a restroom, we will need to remove the contaminants. So we will do a, a an exhaust system as well. So let's take let's continue with this uh, design and AC design AC and an AC system, an AC and sales system for our house. So we already have our description. So we know that we are going to design an AC and exhaust system for a car house. Let's continue with the information that we need. In this case, we need to know the region of the of the project will be in Latin America, Latin America. Location could be the country. So let's say that is Venezuela. The city will be Caracas. Let's mark this because this is on. Let's continue with the, the scope of work. OK, in this case, we have to ask to your uh, to our client what he wants i mean 
if he wants a an AC system with dot work, if he wants an AC without dot work. We already know that we are going to design an exhaust system. We don't have heating ventilation, so uh, heating, sorry, so we, we are not going to mark this one. So let's work on their assumption, on their, their assumption that we are going to design with dot work, but that will depend on, on the space. So if one of the space we don't need to, we don't need a dot work and we can design a or we can install a dockless unit, so that will be allowed. So we can mark these two. Let's continue with the required temperature. Sometimes we have two options here, according the according ASHRAE or having a specific temperature. Why specific temperature? Norm, normally, uh, or sometimes, your client could have a, a specific temperature that he wants on the spaces because maybe the structure is located in a place where the, the ambient temperature are really low and they want to have inside a, a lower temperature than outside. So, and that temperature is, is less than the temperature we normally have on the Caribbean. So this is why you have these two options, because normally actually on the software will give, well, will give you an option of what is uh, a temperature to generate or create a comfort area on, on human uh, people. But sometimes, as I said before, your client could have an, uh, an specific requirement. So we can type it here if, if we have that requirement. If not, I would recommend it to do it according to Ashri. And the same with the humidity. So maybe your your client has a specific requirement because they will have some uh, maybe a specific um, material or something or a specific activity to do there, and he needs to control the humidity. Well, this time we are going to select the same um, option uh, according to ASHRAE. Months of, of the design. Maybe you have four options here and dividing this for, uh, by three months, um, every three months. But I'm, I'm putting this option because maybe if you have a a restaurant, <clears throat> a restaurant, uh, sorry, um, that works only in a season of the year from January to March or April to June, you will choose only that option of, of, for your design. But in this case, this guardhouse will work all year. So I, I recommend it to you mark four season of the year or, or, or the whole year. And we already know now we are, at this point we already have some information. So as you can see, we are getting the information and we are having an idea of what we have to do. We know that we are going to design an, an, an AC and exhaust system for a garage house. The region will be Latin America. So you, you may know that uh, the, how is the weather over there the dot work installation of the dot work of, of or the design of the dot of the dot work will will depend on the spaces. We, you also have to design an exhaust system exhaust system and the required temperature will be according to the ASHRAE or what what ASHRAE recommend you on the software and months of the design will be basically all year. With this, we finish the weather and the intro uh, part of this uh, form. Let's continue with the system. Okay, type of system. The type of system uh, depends on basically uh, what your clients um, what your clients want. For example, maybe your your client has a specific budget 
maybe your your client already have some equipment on storage or maybe you, your client has uh, another idea so it is important in the type of the system talk to talk to your client and you have to know what he wants if not is if it's up to you you can you know check the space you have and based on that you can say what are you going to install let's check for this uh, on this example the four options we have um, we have deep expansion, chill water with cooling tower, chill water, air cold, and BRF. So this is an, a, a really small space. So we have like a three spaces. We don't know BRF because the, 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 the most important thing on a BRF is that you can control several equipment with just one unit. So in this case, we only this the space is too small, so we don't need to control um, several units with just uh, one unit. Uh, so we are not going to use BRF. Chill water, again, is a really small space and will be really expensive to install chill water here because we need to install uh, pipes and different things and that are not needed uh, in, on, this, um, on this project. So we are not going to mar mark any ch chill water. I think the best option we, has, we have is deep expansion. Deep expansion is, I think, the, the best option, option in terms of, of budget, in terms of installation, because that will give a, um, a much a uh, variety of, 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 of devices that we can adapt to our design. Chill water, I recommend the chill water for big, uh, uh, really tall buildings like uh, hotels or, you know, this type of, of things um, like um, an stadium. Let's continue. Uh, exhaust system. Well, where we are going to install an, the exhaust system? So if we check again the, the drawing, we have two restrooms. We, we see here the toilet and we have a, a small kitchen here. So we're going to mark the kitchen and we are going to mark restrooms. So we have another two options is warehouse and meeting rooms. We check again, we don't have warehouse over here, but we do have a meeting room or meeting space. So this area probably will need a, an exhaust system. So let's mark the meeting rooms. Okay, let's continue. Okay, type of thermostat. Again, that selection will depend on what your clients uh, want. Um, what is the budget or I don't know it depends on what is his uh, concept in this case in this case we have Wi-Fi seven-day program thermostat with lockout and a pass a basic design in this case imagine that this uh, car house is part of a huge company and they want to control the, that um, Control that thermostat from a, from a laptop. From the on on the the laptop will be located in the IT room of another building. So I think the best option will be Wi-Fi. Let's assume that the client requests a Wi-Fi thermostat, seven-day program, and with lockout because it's really important to lock the the thermostat in order to avoid you know constant changes on the th on the temperature so and uh, after i will explain which are these uh, options type of diffuser and grills is is requesting the information that our diffusers and grills 
well let's let's say that the color that our our you know clients want is white model we don't have the models yet because we need to design and calculate the CFM. So we will fill this uh, information after. The brand could be, you know, Meta Air or similar. This is one of the most common ones. And the cost, we don't know the cost yet. Devices color, I mean, which uh, color the client wants for, for the indoor units or for, well, let's say that is white because you have to match with the, with the diffusers. Okay, we have, we, here we have to change this outdoor. Okay, voltage, phase, and hertz. This is really important to know. Before uh, the selection of the equipment, or even in design, it is important to know which is our, which um, electrical future futures we are going to have available there in order to select the equipment, the right equipment for for that uh, services. So this information you can request to your client again, or you can ask to the electrician in charge of of the project. So let's say that in this project we have two or eight, two thirty voltage one phase in 60 hertz. I think here in America, this is more, the most common one. And the same for the 